Hi guys! So today is my Jessica Rabbit inspired makeup for Halloween. Um, I'm going to basically be doing really smoked out purple eye, red lips, and um, before I go to class I'm taking off the red lips and just making do. So I'm going to show you kind of um, a realistic but still over the top way of doing it so I wouldn't recommend this. For me personally, I wouldn't go out in this, but I need to just tone down the eye makeup before I go to class too. Um, so I already started with like, I wore for foundation the Laura Mercier Silk Cream because I feel like the bombshell look is that very um, perfect matte foundation, I guess. I don't know. Face. Like, it's not so much about being luminous and natural. It's about, like, being over the top. So I'm putting, um, for my first color, Crystal. And then I'll be using Satellite Dreams. So Crystal and Satellite Dreams. Crystal is the first one. And I'm putting this on in the inner half, basically. I'm trying to zoom up closer with my face. I actually have to zoom in with my face. <laughs> and bring it up because as you can tell it's so rounded and that was a big theme for her character is everything's very soft, very rounded, no sharp lines I guess you could say. Alright, now I'm going to take the other side of the same brush, and I'm using the Satellite Dreams. These are all from MAC. And once again, just going up way higher than I would, like past the crease, up heading towards the brow bone. And speaking of brow bone, I can do this now. Um, I'm going to take just a 224 in my Amber Diamonds highlighter. There's my 224. I'm taking just the really pale colors over here and diving those in the inner corner. And then up, the brow bone's gonna be so worked with. I'm getting a call, I have no idea who from. Um, yeah, so that was just real quick to pop that on there before we start blending away and getting too into it. So now I'm taking MAC um, Noir Plum. This is from the Mega Metal, but a really dark plummy purple will be good. And I'm putting that more on the outer corner. And then going to drag it into the socket, like along the crease. It adds sort of more dimension and more shading. That's why it's adding more dimension, is because it's adding more shading. <laughs> um, now I'm going to take my 213, 219, and I'm taking Later Pigment, once again from MAC, this one. It's a purpley, dark, dark purple that like smokes kind of black sometimes all depending how you wear it and this I have to apply wet or I get tons of fallout and this is going to add that dramatic dark smoky look that I have on the other eye and this is where I'm going to start to like really round out a shape So you can see that is rounded a lot. 
And from that, I really just went through and blended, and blended, and blended, and blended. Blend, blend, blend. And I'm taking it up and going right to my brow because it is meant to be more of a Halloween look. And just make sure you bring it where you've got it on the other eye. And there's no color it shows on her bottom lids. So I didn't even bother, like, with my bottom lashes putting color there. Um, so that is a super smoky purple eye. Um, I already have one coat on, but I'm putting another one of Lash Blast Fusion Mascara from CoverGirl. I'm going to curl my lashes. So I have two coats on total, and this is the second one on this eye. So while that dries, I'm going to go on to cheeks real quick. And the very first thing... Oh my god. I get so angry when things drop around me. I have to admit, that's for a pet peeve. Is when things start rolling, I'm like... Um, the first thing I'm going to do... I already did all my basic face makeup. But I'm going to take my contour powder, Harmony powder from MAC. And I'm going to do that again. Because... She has very contoured cheekbones. So, I'm just putting it right in the hollow of my cheek. And this is um, the Sigma Tapered Face F25 brush. See, I, I don't mind this, but I will just clean up when I go to class, like, all the stuff on my highlighter, brow bone area. Uh, so yeah, that's just how that goes. Um, then I'm using Mighty Aphrodite. I'm just swirling it uh, around that colored area a lot. And I'm going to put this towards the bottom of my cheekbones, working my way up a little. Because in the movie she had a very nice flush, of course. It's very bombshell, over the top. And then Dior Amber Diamonds on top of my cheekbones. Which is a must for highlights. My eyes look so goofy right now. Because before they're lined, they just like look so different. So it's like, whoa, weird lopsided looking. Um, for lips, I'm going to use Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in Red Diva from Rimmel. And her lips are so rounded. And if you look at the cartoon, her top lip is so much thinner than her bottom. Like her bottom lift is abnormally poofy. So to do that, I'm just gonna gently overline my bottom la line, not lash line, lip line. I have concealer out for when I have to take this off later, a little bit. So that is just outlining it a little. I'm not trying to be perfect because I'm taking it right off, but now I'm just going to take Heartless from MAC, which is a very red red.
sure it's going to be really fun to clean this up in like two minutes for class. But And then she, her look to me like calls for lips that are juicy, glossy, but you can do it a couple ways. I'm just going to dot it in like the middle of my center. kind of smushing together because I feel like that's more appropriate for what she would wear and it makes your lips look even fuller in the middle. Okay, so that's almost everything done. Lastly, I'm going to curl my lashes one more time. My camera's blinking at me, a little battery, and I have to rush through this. Okay, so now I'm taking Feline Eye Coal from MAC and lining top and bottom water lines. Bottom. I feel like I said bottom there. Top and bottom. Okay, I'm used to like... I'm not used to being this close to the camera when I do it. I'm taking Physician's Formula, the line pencil in Ultra Black. I feel like this is drying out again. It's always nice to have kind of a backup, like, within a month of buying one of these, because you don't really know when it's going to run out, like a gel liner or an eyeliner, like, pencil, because those you can see going down and down and down. These, not so much. So now for my false lashes, I'm using Demi Wispies, and I'll actually show you what I was planning on wearing. And even for Halloween, I feel like it's going to be too dramatic, so I might not wear those at all, ever. I don't know when they would be like actually useful. They're just too dramatic like for what I would ever be going for. So I just put a thin strap, strip of glue on those. And where are they? No, I set them somewhere. They fell, didn't they? No, there they are. These are the 33 Salon Perfect 33 from Walmart. But they're just so super like, look at these, compared to those. They're just way too thick. I'm gonna beat you little butts up. My cats are just destroying things, as usual. As usual. La 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 la. So I'm just waiting for that to glue, to dry. It's kind of scary looking at myself in the mirror, because it's so over the top. <laughs> I'm going to take my lash blast and just pop mascara on the bottom lashes. Okay. Okay. So that is the finished look. So this is just a basic overview of what I'll be doing. Anything I change up or use a different color, I'll say when I do it. I'll just um, probably post a short video when I'm all done up with my outfit because this isn't hair or um, anything but makeup. So, Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you again. Bye!